Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem, but I... And the boar still didn't come in. You know what? We're gonna take the spook. Alrighty, hello and welcome to the channel for today's video. We're back for our day three in Yukon Valley in this rotation. And the goal today is to basically find my mouse. It is at a constant struggle. Go up the coastal line to the bridge and find us a grizzly. Now it's early morning, not as early as I'd hoped because I needed to do some testing and I kind of ran out of money to keep doing uh, any time resets. So, there's always that issue. On top of that, I kind of wanted to do a little quick talkie talk about one of the things in the game that I actually heard a YouTuber complaining about today. And not necessarily complaining, but suggesting that they remove, and that was the difficulty level of the animals. Uh, he basically pointed out that there were animals where the difficulty level didn't seem to coincide with the trophy ranking. And I kind of wanted to put my insight onto that from a person who's messed around with script work and not necessarily game development, but software development. And that is that a lot of the times, one of the easiest ways to get information into a player's perspective or a user's perspective is to have the information drawn from the back end or the actual script of how the game works. And the difficulty level, and I'm about 90% sure of this, because of course I haven't pulled apart the game or anything, but just off the way the mechanics seem to work, the difficulty level coincides with the AI system and is meant to more or less represent the age of the animal and the intelligence, its experience and survival. So the difficulty level has never actually coincided. Like it is not a value that is towards the trophy level. The difficulty level is a result of the trophy level, not the total score, as the old scoring system had, but the trophy level and the weight. And it's meant to represent the age of the animal. It's one of the reasons where if you have a higher, it, it's a higher difficulty level, it's harder to get that animal to cooperate with what you want. Because it's meant to represent, again, more age, more experience. So you can have an animal that has a lower ranking and still be a diamond level animal because it just, it doesn't have the weight. It doesn't have the, you know, the fake age. The AI system works on tiers. You have a tier system for its distance from you as far as what it accounts for when it comes to uh, threats. The more, the closer it is to the player character, the more it's accounting for potential threats in the area, such as visual, scent, audio. And the further away, the more it's just reliant on basic facts, such as need zones, paths traveled, regions of habitation. And then you have the tier system of the difficulty level, which in my mind appears to affect the animal's resistance to lures, uh, susceptibility to threats, so how easily is it spooked? Um, how wary is it of, you know, odd noises and visuals? So the difficulty level, even though it doesn't directly coincide and can lead to what people seem to term as trolling diamonds, because, you know, you, you have a level five out of five animal and it doesn't come out of diamond. Well, yeah, I mean, that's because its horns were too small or the body mass wasn't quite there because it's a combination of those two that lead to the difficulty level to describe the animal's, you know, virtual age but it's not a uh, direct value towards the trophy level. And you can't remove that because to remove the difficulty level, they would have, it would be present. You just wouldn't see it if they were to remove it. You wouldn't see it, but it would still be present because it's part of the AI system. They would have to rewrite the AI in order to account for that not being there. So I strongly believe that it's a smart thing to leave it in place. 
And in all reality, the difficulty level, I tend to ignore it. It does mean that you have a possibility for something. Is that a bush? It's always a bush. Be ah. But, uh... It can also very easily result in... I lost my train of thought. I hate it when that happens. Damn bushes. Uh, the, the difficulty level will always be there. And quite frankly, it doesn't make a difference whether it's there or not visually, because until they decide to revamp the AI system entirely, it, it's there. You know, it's it's pathfinding decision or decision-based pathfinding AI. The variables are controlled by the two tiers, range and difficulty level. The higher the difficulty, the closer the range, the harder it's going to be for you to get that animal to cooperate and do what it is you want it to do. Um, it's it's the same reason why, you know, a, a level 3 whitetail is diamond potential, but it's a level 9 red deer. Because the red deer is going to be easier to spook. Uh, and, oh. Oh, it's a little female. Uh, so right there, that's a 2 minor. That means that that animal, it's going to spook when I get close. Um, actually, where's my binos? But, let's see. 300 yards, so not within range to be smelled, heard, seen. Um, in reality, I wonder if grizzlies are like black bear. Because if I remember correctly, black bear don't actually have that good, that, like, rate of vision. They primarily rely on, uh, hearing and scent. Um, I'd like to try and get down to about 250 yards. It, closer the better, but the wind is not cooperating today. And that will not be the best grizzly for the day. I hope not. As I get closer to that bridge, I should be able to come across something bigger. Uh, there's a little... This little island here. I love posting up here because there's a land bridge right around here that caribou love to cross in the early morning. Uh, we've already passed that time, but usually after the caribou crosses when we start to see the grizzly come through. But, uh, yeah, so just wanted to kind of point that out. There's, there's a lot of mechanics in this game at play, and the fact they got rid of the total scoring system, it, it makes sense, but the difficulty level... You turned. Why did you turn? The difficulty level will always remain until they completely rewrite the AI. That being said, you know, there's still going to be animal characteristics. There's something back there, too. That's a caribou. Wow. I, I, you know what? And I've actually never been up this way. You can see this section here. And there's actually a whole area to my right I've never bothered looking at. Maybe I should have. I, I don't think I'm going to take that one. Just because it wouldn't be worth the effort of trying to get in close. I definitely want to hunt down and try and find something a little more worthwhile. Uh, I would definitely like to find a boar grizzly. And preferably something a bit larger. Something closer to the thousand pound mark would be nice. So, one more thing I want to cover is that there appears to be a bug... Um, if anyone else has noticed it, whenever you get a call, it doesn't seem to represent the animal level correctly. Uh, I just got a caribou warning call, and that came back as a little picture of a rabbit that said TX on it. And I don't think they mean Texas. Uh, and then I think I got a, a moose call on the last video, and it said a two with a picture of a fox. So, the calls definitely seem to be a little out of sync with the rest of the game right now. But there is that caribou over here. The grizzly's long gone. It's They're going to be going in the resting time, so it's probably back in the woods over there. Yeah, I mean, he's right there. I'm not loving the angle, though. But I think I can sneak it in right there. You know what? 
Just to keep things interesting, let's give it a shot. Good hit. And I don't hear any footprints. Ah, there's some disturbed vegetation right there. So that should tell me something. Common, fresh. That says a six, so that's probably for the caribou. There you are, bud. You don't look like you're doing so hot. Um, honestly surprised I don't see any other movement. So I got both lungs, liver, stomach. Wow. That, uh... That did work. Okay. We got a warning call. Oh, and if you look, there he is. Very attentive. See how he's moving around a lot more? The other ones just went right back to drinking. So he's higher difficulty level now. He's sitting here going, okay, wait a minute, what was that? Which is going to have me a little curious. I somehow just rotated the right way and I've gotten into a spot where I'm invisible. Oh. So I might take this guy if he's going to give me a shot. That's a 4. 418. Quit running, quit running, quit running. I don't know a good shot. I'm gonna try and walk it. Um wait. Oh, he is gone. He's back there, and you just sort of see him running still. But he did go down. So the shot was... This was his trail, it looks like? Or was that my trail? Crud. I think he ran right over my trail. Ah, here we go. There's some blood. That has me a little on the worried side, because that... Well, you can see my trail there, but there's also a trail running right along here. And that is from that grizzly. The one we spotted earlier, so... Let's see, where did he go? Oh, there he is. So... Using the, the uh, hunter mate always helps, and also I would definitely suggest zigzagging over the track. That way, if you need to look back, it's you don't get as confused seeing your track overlaying the animals. So you either got to be perfectly in their track, but as soon as you lose it, start zigzagging so you can tell, you know, without a doubt, what would be their trail versus yours. Let's take a look here. You're not a half bad looking caribou. That was a horrible shot. I was way too high. Non vital organ hit. But right there, you can see what I mean. So the three, I was able to spook. He gave me the warning call. And then almost immediately, he forgot I was there and went right back to whatever the heck it was he was doing. Whereas the four. I sp he spooked, and he immediately started moving around. Now, I kind of want him to pop down there, knowing that there's uh, a sow. Oh, boy. Right there. God, those footprints, or footsteps still give me a freaking... Can I, uh... Oh. Alright, so... Uh, if I had to take a guess, I'm going to say that's the one we saw this morning that was drinking. Because when they get done drinking in the early mornings, they move inland and they find themselves a little rest area. Oop, perfect. Come on. Give me that. Give me that little... Yep. Oh, boy. We're about to have another problem. Okay, well, I found the track for whatever it was this way. It's another sow. 
so we'll move on. But I'm definitely thinking that uh, right around this lake area is going to be good. So right there we got the other one. So I want to kind of get down to here. Which is going to spook everything over here, but hopefully give us some visibility around here. That's not creepy at all. She turned around at some point. Where's the heart? Right there? I swear she was looking dead at me. I don't know how I'm invisible right now. Is this tree really providing that kind of cover? You know what? Uh, I'd be amiss if I didn't attempt it just for science sake. She slightly turned away from me. So we're going to let the animal spot go away. Because this is probably going to turn... <laughs> How's it go? This is going to get loud. Looks like she just rolled over there. So the first grizzly of the day. Not a bad looking one. Let's take a look. Oh wow. So when they're slouched forward like that, the heart's up in the neck area. So I wasn't even close. But all my checks. She's just too small to be anything fancy. Kind of looks derpy in that position. But still, almost 1,200 cash, I'll take it. Okay, so far we got no signs of life over here. So I'm going to travel back towards the bridge and keep working my way uphill. They're out there somewhere. Probably call as I go to just see if I can't get one trailing me a little bit. Be nice to find a track, any sign. Alright, well, we're not having luck stirring anything up. I mean, it's the wrong time of day, anyways. So, I think it's. We're gonna head up to the outpost on the other side of the ridge here. Uh, or the one that's over that way. And, uh, we'll come back as nightfall starts and see what's down here. That'd probably be the best bet. Because right now, everything that's out here is sleeping. And not wanting to move for any particular reason. Alright, it's three in the afternoon. Yet again, we're going to try and catch him as the sun sets. Should give us enough time to get down to the water before anything gets moving. And this time we're going to focus on the hill over here. And I'm just going to start by going out to that middle peninsula and just spotting from out there and see what I can see. Uh, we're going to sit there. We might see him running here, there, and over there, and then along this shoreline down here. So it's just a matter of getting down there somewhat safely. Uh, hang on a ticket. I just got some caribou down here. That is not a... What is that? That is a four. That is a nice caribou. There's a whole bunch of caribou down there. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the slope right here. Probably get into this tree. Actually, you know what? This is a pretty good spot if I've ever seen one. We are going to call those tort. Ah. We have found our bear. Behind me. Right here. That's not going to be the same one, though. 
Oh, that's a little female. There's another one, though. The other one's above me. Oh, problem. I can't move? Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem, but I... And the boar still didn't come in. You know what? We're gonna take the spook. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Huh. Nope. There he is. I'm gonna try and get up to this rock. I just saw him. Moving right back there. Now the only problem is the wind has rotated yet again to be... Ooh, that wind, I tell ya. It's out to get me. Okay, so we run into a new problem. Normally... I can alt-tab out, see what the GPU's doing, see if there's any way for me to cool it off. But that has stopped working. I actually can't get out of the game. Oh, lord. I don't want to take a one. That's a two. Where did that seven go? <laughs> Unfortunately, I may not have a choice but to pretty much pick a bear and take it. Although, I do want that seven. That was like basically what we've hunted for all day. I have no interest in taking another sound. <laughs> That's not good. There she is. Just rolled right there. Okay. Uh, right back by the bridge. So let's carefully get down here. So I, th I think I missed that heart. You couldn't tell. I know I said I didn't want the sound. I wanted the seven. But at this point, I have bigger issues such as that. GPU overheating, or whatever that is, appears to be the GPU overheating. Something's overheating, and uh, which it shouldn't shouldn't do that. In the end, that seven will still be there. We can always come back for it. Nothing really worthy of the lodge today, because I think the only decent trophy animal we screwed the shot up on. I screwed the shot up. What's this wee nonsense? I messed that one up. 
And then uh, tomorrow we're going to head off to... Oh my god, I thought I saw him. Uh, we're going to head off to Yukon, or not Yukon, we're going to head off to uh, Medved. And uh, go see about some musk deer. Take a look here. How badly did I screw up this shot? First one. No, I got a lung on the first one. I. The one time I aim high, and because of the angle I was at, I still missed the heart. And then the second shot pretty much did nothing. But still got full everything. Cool. I'll take it. Cash money. Quick kill bonus for cash was only 54%. Wow. Still didn't get quick kill. But uh, that being said, I think we're going to end it before something goes the rest of the way. So, there are buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't. So, as always, buttons to push. Until next time. That better not be... Okay, that's for a caribou.